Hello everyone welcome back to the game Sea of Conquest. In this video, I want to apologize to all of you for not discussing this game for a month haha. <laughs> More precisely during season 5, that's because for the past month, I have focused on increasing the level of my ship fleet to a higher level. And during this month, I only trade to collect gold and rarely participate in various things. And in this video, my ship fleet only has one level left to reach level 40 and open the last slot so I can use 6 ships. For information regarding Season 5, our server managed to get the award as Ruler of the Sea without occupying Port 7. Here you can see, we only occupied 1 Port 6 and 12 Port 5 by going through various battles, surviving the storm against a strong alliance. But the pressure we get during one season gives us more points so we can rank first in Season 5. I'm really focused on increasing the ship fleet to level 40 in Season 5 as a preparation step for Season 6 because Season 6 will definitely be much more difficult. That's why I haven't made a video for a month, haha. <laughs> And this is a list of servers that will meet in Season 6, which will start tomorrow. And this is the end of Season Prize. To get first place we just collect as many points as possible, without having to occupy Port 7. Now it's time to say goodbye to 5 ships, hey he. It takes 40 million gold to increase level 39 to 40, and as a free player, this is a great achievement for me. For other companion ships, I will increase it slowly. Here I have a ship that I got in Season 5 with a defensive type, and I'm confused about whether to use this ship for the 6th slot or use another ship. If you have suggestions for what ship to use, please write them in the comments column. So for the time being, I will use this support ship in the 6th slot. I want to try using some support heroes in the battle later. So for the experiment, I will just use this ship. Actually, there are several other ships, such as the Sentinel for burning damage. Then Scepter the ship to survive. Then there is Providence too, so I'm a little confused about which ship to use Hehi because several of these ships have their own quite good abilities and advantages. Next is to put a hero for this ship, and like this type of ship is support, so I will put a support hero on this ship. There are two heroes here, Lulu and Obi so I'm confused about which hero to use, so for now, I'm just using Lulu. And for the last slot, I just used Wanda. Maybe in the future, there will be changes to the hero's position, so for now, this is the result. For the flagship, I will just use a few supporting heroes for the time being. The result is likely something like this. Then selecting the trinket, I use the support type too. So this is what the hero combination looks like. And for testing tomorrow after entering Season 6. Because I have to start collecting gold again to increase my 6th ship level. So to all of you, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.